Hi, in this video, I'll cover 4D Manager 6.4 Restricted IPS Admin feature. This feature comes as a replacement for IPS administration in order to help customers transitioning from dedicated IPS solution to 4D gate next gen IPS. Now, let's get started with the demo by creating IPS admin profile and associated user. For this, we will navigate to system settings and select profile option under admin tab. Select create new profile and name the profile as IPS underscore user. Select type as restricted admin and choose intrusion prevention for the permissions. Keep the allow to install option to the default setting of on so that IPS admin can push updates to manage 4D gate devices. Moving forward, let's add a new user under administrator tab and name it as IPS underscore admin. This will be a local user for authentication purposes. Assign this user IPS underscore user admin profile which we created in the last step. We will provide root ADOM access to this user along with all predefined IPS profile. Leave all other options to the default setting and click OK. At this point, IPS admin has been added to local database with root ADOM access. Let's log out of this super admin session. And log back into 4D manager as IPS admin to explore the new role based access feature. Once logged in as IPS admin, user's default view has all the IPS profile assigned to him with title bar highlighting restricted admin mode. Left navigation pane has only got intrusion prevention tab with profiles and custom signatures option. Both these options enable users to create, edit, delete custom signatures and IPS profiles. The more drop down menu has got options like clone or install a profile or where used option to see where the profile is currently being used. For the sake of this demo, I have already created and installed IPS demo profile on one of the 4D gate as super admin. We can quickly verify this by selecting where used option under more drop down menu. Now to highlight quick install option, I will edit the IPS demo profile and change the IPS filter action from pass to monitor. Save the profile and select quick install. This will trigger the update of IPS demo profile on all the devices in root ADOM where this profile is currently in use. Let's wait for the update to complete. Now, as the update has finished, we can verify the changes by going to 4D gate and selecting IPS demo profile. Here we can notice that the action has changed from pass to monitor. Now, let's go back to 4D manager and cover the second use case to create and install new IPS profile. For this, I will clone and edit the IPS profile by adding another IPS filter to block high severity vulnerabilities. Select the newly created IPS demo profile and choose install option under more drop down menu. Here we can select all the devices in the root add-on or manually select the appropriate devices as installation targets. 
click OK. Install dialog box will pop up, which will provide progress details. Let's wait for the update to complete. As you can notice, update has finished successfully. Now we will go to 4DG and look for clone of IPS demo profile. This concludes the demo. Thank you for watching.